So today we're going to be taking off from Uluru Airport, which is actually located about three and a half miles from Ayers Rock or six kilometers. So today we're going to be leaving Ayers Rock Airport and heading out for a short six kilometer flight to Uluru and back again. So you might have noticed there's somebody with me today in the cockpit of this Diamond DB20 and that's Jen, she's flying uh, while I do the talking. The reason Uluru is such a sacred site for the indigenous people uh, and the Nanangu and all Aboriginals is because it's seen as a resting place for ancient spirits, dating back to the dream time when it was formed. The rock itself is composed of a, a type of sandstone called uh, Arcos, which is very coarse grained. I think one of the most incredible things about Uluru is the fact that it first began underwater where it was formed some like 500 million years ago and, and at that point the entire region was underwater uh, at a time when the earth's plates were shifting uh, two plates together one of sand and the other of rock continually pressing against each other and eventually that friction causes the pressure to burst and the, the two parts form together to create what you see today As we're flying over, you'll be able to have a look at how the water erosion from the rain runoff has actually formed the steep valleys uh, on either side. And you have these potholes with a series of plunge pools which have been sort of worn into the Arcos on the southern side of Uluru as we fly around. And on the northwestern side, which I'll come past in a second, you can see the weathering has produced these parallel ridges. Uh, and what you can see in between those is the outlining of the sedimentary layers of the rock. So as Jen makes her final approach into Ayers Rock Airport, we're going to say goodbye and thank you so much for flying with us uh, here at Uluru and we hope that you come back. We're going to make a lot more of these videos, um, find some amazing places around the world to fly and to teach you more about them. So from everybody at iTeacher, thank you so much. Uh-huh.